Hi, I'm Nami from Indilotter. I'm walking past a field full of cows. This has nothing to do with the video. Back to you, Nami and the studio. Cows are real nice. I don't know if you can really see them. Hi, I'm Nami from Mini Lotter. Welcome back to the channel. I came back from a walk. Thank you, Lamy, in the past for <laughs> taking a fucking walk. So today I'm painting Azok on a white work. Yay! <laughs> it's October, so I wanted to paint an orc, even though I recently decided to focus a little bit more on dwarves because the channel is being a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and I really want to focus on the dwarves on the channel for the moment. Uh, the uruk -hai. I pretty much am done with the second white hand army. Maybe if I show you how big it is right now, you'll see it's ginormous. Maybe I buy another ballista or something, maybe a few more crossbows, but I don't think it's a whole video worth of content there, so... From next month onward, probably, it's gonna be more about the dwarves and about my display as well. But this month it's gonna be all evil and all Azos region. Because yeah, I'm already gonna paint fucking Azog. <laughs> I'm really happy about this. I already painted him, big surprise. Uh, but I really love how he came out. I tried some different things and ooh, I really like where I'm going with this. Uh, and you'll see in the next video, maybe a little spoiler, about how uh, the techniques I use and this video will come back in the next one. It's gonna be amazing. I've already painted up something and ooh, I'm very excited. But I'm gonna go straight into the video now. I'm painting Azok on his white work. As you can see, I already based him. I'm gonna spruce up the base somewhere in the future. I wasn't feeling like basing uh, when I painted him. And first off, I I base coated him with uh, grey sear, something I rarely do, but as you can see, it, it pretty much looks white, and in today's video, I don't think I actually use white. Let me check my notes. No, I don't. Hey. <laughs> so we're gonna paint white in two different ways without using white, if that makes sense, because Azok is gonna be white. To start off, I'm gonna start with painting the work because once you've painted the work, most of your model is already painted and that's great for morale while painting. And the first thing I did was use Seraphim Sepia and I apply it quite liberally, liberally. Just apply it all over the model and I don't care if it's gonna pull or not, it's gonna make some, for some more depth in a way, <clears throat> of course. If it pulls, I'm trying to make sure uh, that it pulls in like really deep areas for some more shade as well. And we're gonna use the shade paint as a way to stain the grey sear. And that's the best way I can explain this because you can see once I've painted this, the fur of the work looks like a uh, I'll sepia, but with some white showing through, some light light grey showing through. That's exactly what I wanted, because I wanted Seraphim sepia to be like the darkest part of the work. And uh, once that's dry, and believe me, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> so one downside with painting like this, once it's dry, I apply the dry brush of grey sear. <laughs> Just to get the raised edges back to uh, where they were, uh, give or take. Also a great moment uh, if you accidentally got some sepia on Azox skin to paint the grey sear over it again. Just saying. Uh, after that di dry brush I realized this is going somewhere. <laughs> this is actually gonna be at least decent. After I did that I realized it still wasn't a really white work. So I did another dry brush that built one grey. Don't let the name fool you, it's kind of whitish grey, uh, but yeah, and it make, made sure the fur was popping more. Uh, with this dry brush, I tried not to hit the face or the skin on his legs as much, 
just so there would be a slight difference between the two and it wouldn't all be just one color. Speaking of his face, that's the next part we're gonna paint. I used Black Templar uh, as a way to paint the inside of his mouth and also his lips a little bit because if you look at dogs, yeah, and the gums and everything are black I guess. I'm not a dog person, I just... I'm, I'm, I'm just going by memory of once seeing a dog. I'm a cat person. <laughs> So yeah, and I also tried to take his nose with it as well because I looked at the Games Workshop uh, models, how they painted it, and the nose is kind of black as well. But in the end I thought it was too jarring. So I just used another dry brush of Grey Seer over his face again just to tone it down a little bit more. Technically it counts as a, some sort of edge highlight, I don't care for <laughs> highlights at all, you might have noticed. and. So far it's looking quite awesome. Now the tongue, and the tongue is just corn red. It's just the perfect red for the tongue if you ask me. But you did it. <laughs> now the work is nearly fully complete. We just need to paint his teeth and I did that with the Shapti bone. Once again, it's an easy way to paint teeth and because We've already made sure the gums are black. I'm not gonna start painting them a different color, it looks okay. As you might notice, I didn't put all that much effort into Azok because I don't really like Azok all that much as a model or character. <laughs> I don't really like the Hobbit movies that much, except for the Dwarven aesthetic in general might notice if you check the playlist about my dwarves that I really like dwarves. And after painting his teeth, we're done with the work. It looks quite good. Uh, on While recording I've noticed the uh, white fur doesn't really look all that white, but in real life for some reason it looks way more white than it does on pictures. I don't know how that is, I'm not a professional <laughs> at all, even though I make fucking YouTube videos. So yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> now you're up to Azok and we're gonna do a similar thing, but not quite similar in a way. I'm just gonna explain. Uh, we start off with Reikland Flash Shade, but since my Reikland Flash Shade is like nearly done, I thought it would be a nice uh, time to experiment and I just added some clear tap water to it to make sure it doesn't pull that much and it doesn't stain all that much because if you don't water it down it just doesn't look as good so with my fresh pot I have standing behind me I'm gonna actually water it down before I use it because I think it gives away way more smooth and even effect compared to when you don't water the whole pot down. My advice water your Reikland flash shade down it's gonna give a way more uniform look as you might notice with my Azok that I'm painting. Now I wanted to him I wanted him to look a little different than the work, so I used the record flash to just dry brush him and made sure I didn't touch the work because the work is done. I'm not a great I'm not a handy guy, so yeah, I'll probably <clears throat> so I really try to not fuck up the work at this point. And I gave it uh, a couple of rounds of dry brushing and actually to really layer the record flash uh, on top I made sure I got every high, uh, raised area on Azok because despite being fail cast it's quite detailed. Just have to sculpt the details out of all the mold lines. I fucking hate fail cast for that. But now he he still doesn't look like the pale orc, so I used Palette Witch Flash and I dry brushed it on top of the record flash and I didn't apply as much force, I made sure that there was even less paint than before on my brush just to make sure it was really the highlights uh, that got hit. Just like that, the skin is done. I didn't do anything else to the skin, did I? Nope. So I got to painting the rest of the Azok model, which was just lead belcher for the metal parts, like his plate he's, he has on his belly, his, well, 
shoes. <laughs> his metal shoes. Uh, Tondria Brown I used for his loincloth, I believe. Yes, I used it for his loincloth. And yeah, nothing else. <laughs> and I used Rhinox Hide for the mace, the braces he has on. Anything like that. Uh, once again, I don't really like Azok as much as a character and a model. So I didn't put all that much effort into him. Once that's done, I just give everything an Agrax Earthshade uh, wash, except of course for the Warg or the skin of Azok, because in my opinion it's already fucking perfect. And that's the way I painted him. That's how I painted Azok. It's quite quick, quite easy. This will probably be a very short video. But in the end, I actually really love how he came out, and yeah, I learned a lot as well, because I will use the technique of using a shade paint to stain the grey sear again in my next video, but to a, to a different extent. Not gonna spoil too much, I'm very hyped for this video. Uh, because I've already tried it out and it looks amazing if you ask me and I think it's actually a little funny as well So I hope to see you in the next one uh, If you enjoyed leave a like down below maybe subscribe tell a friend and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye Seraphis Seraphim sepia Seraphim sepia <laughs> I'm sorry my notes a little messed up there. Um, now we. Lump entangles. How do you say? I'm not a handy guy, so. But now he he still doesn't look like the pale orc. So I use palette witch flash. Palette palette wish flash. Palette Witch Flash, fuck it. And I dry brushed it once again on the record. Record? Record, yeah. Fuck. On top of the record flash. And I. <sighs> Why do I record this on the hottest day of the fucking month? Two days ago it was 10 degrees Celsius. Today, 23. I'm sweating my nuts off here. To add it. I'm recording this the day before it goes live. Did I press record? I fucking hope I did. Yes, I did.